Hey now, Stern fans, how we doing? Whoa, that's a long drop. Yeah, that's a good, about 30 feet down. Who said jump? You Weisenheimer. <laughs> anyway, how's everybody doing? I'm calling you from Central Florida. Uh, these are my remote locations that I call. You know, my peace of mind. Yeah, I told you, peace and tranquility. And uh, I give you uh, my short scopes and uh, let you know what I'm doing. So if you're having a stressful day, you can just turn on my scope and chill out, you know. Bring you down a few notches, you know, because in today's world, is you turn on the news any given day of the week, or even at the gym, you know, the one place you want to go for refuge, you know, I go to the gym, I go, ah, oh, I work off my stress, and then I got CNN, Fox News, you know, and all these other news, you know, uh, giving you all details, breaking news, you know, it's just, you know, you know, can I ever get away from this? So this is my go-to place, and it's nice and peaceful. You know, no noise, nothing, maybe the birds, you know, some alligators running around, and uh, it's nice, lizards, stuff like that. Yeah, so this is, this is, uh, I'm on top of the bridge here, okay, and uh, that's it through the, that's all the way down. It's in the murky waters, and actually these little canal areas uh, filter out into um, cent uh, the Lake Jessup, which is the largest lake in central Florida. So I'm giving you a little education here. Hey, how we doing? Look at me. Am I a fucking mess today or what? I shouldn't be. I just came off a road test from the DMV. I dropped off one of my clients and I'm micromanaging my time. You see, this is what I talk about during the day. Instead of going home and, you know, just vegging out or just doing nothing productive, you just do something with your day to relieve the stress. And, you, you know, whether it's the gym, tomorrow's my gym day. Today's my cardio. I do speed walk in the trails. And I just, you know, take a breath of fresh air. I sit over here on the benches. And I write out my questions for Monday. Okay. Nice. I got my little desk over here. I put my uh, papers on. Um, actually, I stayed up last night and I uh, did some of my stuff that I want to talk about on Monday. Uh, hopefully everybody saw Howard on Monday. On Monday. On yesterday on Kimball last night. So uh, that was amazing. I watched that. So, if, and if you didn't get to see it, hopefully you DVR'd it. It's always great to see the king of all media and the whack pack. Marianne was in force, keeping everybody in order. She's the best. She really is. So, this is my nature area, and it's nice and quiet. And like I said, um, everybody needs to go to a place like this during the day. You know, take 10 minutes, 20 minutes. You know, like I said, even if you, you own your own business, take time, put the fucking sneakers on, and do laps. You know, do something. Go down to the water. You know, do something for you. It's really important in today's world that you all stay healthy and I'll keep a fresh and alert mind of things that's going around us, you know. But that's my wrap on that. So, uh, like, it's hard for me to read this because of the, uh, the glare here. What do we got here? Bobo, oh, yeah, well, okay. Uh, green, Green Cross. Yeah, Green Cross at National Safety Council. Yeah, that's what I've been with that company going on 20 years now. Yeah, that's why I got my teaching uh, top instructor in New York State and the entire nation in 20, 2013 at the Chicago Grand Hyatt. Yeah, I spoke in front of about 160 people on uh, vehicle safety and you know they present me with three awards that night yep so i'm very proud of this company and i also work for you know a driving school down here in central florida that's totally separate from national safety uh, national safety really encompasses most of my teaching that i do in the classroom you know for the six hour gig for 10 percent off your insurance yeah and that's it uh Oh, I've watched the shirt. It's, we just said it, National Safety Council. Um, I just finished uh, dropping off a client for a road test, so I finished that for the day. And now I'm just, like I said, I'm making use of my time, and I'm doing some speed walk on the trails. So, um, I think I said it before, but give you a little education on these trails here. You can see they go for miles, and they do marathons here. They have bike runs here. This used to be an old... What the old railroad used to come through here back in the day, all right, early 1900s. Uh, yeah, uh, they had railroad trains come through here, 
And uh, later on in, the, I guess, the 40s, 50s, you know, in the early 1900s, they had the troops come through here and they had, you know, the bases throughout Florida. And a lot of them ha have since closed up, you know, but they had the big ones, the big Air Force base with the um, nukes in them, which is in Virginia. And then they have other parts of here in Florida. But anyway, this here is railroad tracks and they repaved them. So this goes for miles, and this is great. And this is what I tell everybody. Listen to me right now. I'm going to tell you something to save your life. Do me a favor. Do not ride your bike in the bike lanes. I've had this discussion with my classes, you know, whether I had 50 or 100 people in my class, my teacher partner and I will always stress this. Folks, you don't ride your bike in the bike lanes, and I get this all the time. Well, where we're supposed to be, that's what it's designed for. Yeah, it's designed for a bike, but you can't in today's day and age of all these electronic devices that people have in their cars. If it ain't the GPS that's taking our, mind, our eyes and mind off the road, it's conjugative, right? Or inattention blindness, as I talk about. See, I'm giving you a little DDC uh, cram course here. Uh, you're taking your mind off the primary task of what? Driving. So if you're driving down the road and all of a sudden you're into a bike lane and you don't know why, right? It's only three feet wide, which is what, 36 inches? That's not a lot of room for a bicycle, okay? And I've seen it time and time again. I'll be behind a car, and I see them right starting to go over and right into the bike lane, into the path of the bike lane. I go alongside them, and 99% of the time they're on the phone. And that's why, especially in Florida, there's really the laws are very lax down here, okay? You could talk on a cell phone. You can have a party. And texting is not a primary offense. And what is it's a secondary offense. And what that entails is this. In order for an officer to give you a citation, you have to do something wrong, such as running a stop sign, running a red light, okay? Unsafe lane change, speeding. Any of those infractions will give you a violation for that occurrence and for texting. Otherwise, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, they can't do a damn thing. But with that said, those two things are driving up accidents down here. That and road tests. Don't even get me started. The road tests down here in Florida are not unlike most other states like Jersey and New York, my home homeland there, where you take somebody on the street and you can see if they have the tools and the skills to drive. All they have to do here is pass basically six things that I prep them for, and also I train them on the street. But if an examiner just sees those six things, he or she does, has no idea if they can drive on the street. So they're turning these people loose, they're giving them licenses, don't even get me started, it's a nightmare. And that's why the accidents, I already called News 13 down here. I told them anytime you want, I'll give you a whole story on this, put me on the air. And I've spoke about this so many times, that's why your accidents are through the roof. Take the road test back on the street, okay? It doesn't cost extra money. It's all state roads, all state funded. It's very simple. I can even draw them up road test sites. Railroad crossings, right turns, left turns, intersections, you know, merging. You know, make sure the drivers that you give a road test to are skillful enough, okay, before you give them a license. Just don't say, okay, you're on a skill course, which is a closed course, okay, it's no street. Go make a right here, make a left turn at this cone, back into between the cones. I'm telling you, and I'm not lying, the road test is 10 to 13 minutes long. Case closed. That's why your accents are so high. It took me three seconds to figure it out when I came down here, and I seem to have more holes than Swiss cheese down here. Motorcycle riders, get this, all right? Up to the age of 21, you must have a helmet. Over the age of 21, you become invincible for some reason, and you're not required to have a helmet in the state of Florida, like Connecticut is another state that comes to mind. All right? That's insane. That's why the accidents down here are even higher, and the fatality rate is high, because they're not wearing helmets, and they're getting their skulls crushed. Okay? You've got to wear a helmet. I don't care how many years you're riding a bike. You know, you know people do the wrong things, and it's bad news down here. Really, really bad. And that with the texting, you got to be out of your friggin' mind, okay, to even have a motorcycle. It's bad enough with a car down here, okay? But please, getting back to what I was saying, this is where you should have a bike on these trails. You can ride here till you pass out. Nobody's going to hurt you here, 
okay? Once in a while, the cops patrol here, you know, for gators and stuff, and they're on their four-by-fours. But other than that, you got no motor vehicle traffic here. You're not allowed. So this is safe, all right? So that's my rap. So I give you a little DDC. People say, hey, Bobo, oops, third person, you know, can you tell us, you know, do a little DDC with us? And I said, yeah, fine. So here it is. All right. What are we saying? No one uses the turn signals. Yeah, you're right. No one uses them. Just remember, it's 100 feet. That's right. 100 feet before a turn. Yep. It's not 25 feet, okay? It's 100 feet. And that's all in all 50 states. I know my shit, man. I told you, I'm the expert who's going to be training Ronnie. And I'm not putting up in any nonsense either. Otherwise, get the fuck out of here. All right. So, this is the bridge, you know, and I turn around, go back here, and I'm going to speed walk back. Um, let me see what else you're saying. Uh, let me see. Do you, Ronnie Mon, block? Oh, no, no, he didn't. Ronnie's cool. I really didn't say anything offensive to Ronnie, you know, other than, you know, just joking around. I didn't, like, say anything real bad. And I told him. I said, go on my Twitter account, Bobo697. No hashtags after Bobo H. Stern. Okay, on Twitter. And you'll find nothing that I say damaging that warrants you to block me. You know? Just joking around. Uh, but when it comes to driving tests, yeah, I'm dead, dead serious about that. Yeah. He, des he definitely needs a driving lesson and course. And for me to, you know, put him where he should be. He might be a little too aggressive. You know, I mean, we'll just tweak him up a little bit. Hey, I'm not saying he's not a good driver. He's a good driver, believe me. Ronnie has to be a good driver in order to drive that limo in the streets of Manhattan. I know that. You know, I'm not taking that away from the guy. You know, it's just, it's, let me get that straight. It's just, I'm, I'm just tweaking up certain habits. Uh, you know, whether I get your son or daughter, you know, if you have people, I get a lot of fans down here recognize me that, you know, hey, you know, I just teach my son or daughter. Yeah, no problem. You know, I'll make sure they're good to go. Uh, not cool with black. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Some racial issue. Uh, why don't, come on back with that. Why don't you? I didn't see that with the sun. Ronnie. <laughs> F Jackie, yeah. What are some good restaurants? Oh, good restaurants. That's a good question. Well, you got to, if you like Italian food, you got um, Tomasino's. You know, it's 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 you know it's not an ex exquisite restaurant, but it's it's where you can go in there and get the pizza by the slice. You know, because it's hard to find places like that down here. You got to you know it's all these like Domino's and shit pizza that you don't want. Pizza Hut crap. You don't want that. Uh, but Tomasino's is good on Red Bug. Um, there's another one. Oh, my God. What's that restaurant we always eat at? I can't think of it now. It's in the shopping center on uh, Tuscarilla. Oh, shit. It's right next to uh, 369, Chinese place. And an MMA fighting uh, uh, gym. I can't think of it now. It'll come to me. But anyway, there's a lot of great restaurants down here. Just got to seek them out. Uh, another one, I'll give you uh, Pickles Deli. He's a big, huge Stern fan. I ate there yesterday. If you saw my... My tweets out yesterday and on Facebook, where he has the best pastrami down here. It's New York style deli, corned beef. I had, Cause actually Jim from Mali. <laughs> I mean Raleigh. Oh, too much with Mary and started with Jim, um, but he put the bug in my ear. I mean, you know, he said, "Bobo, I'm having a you know pastrami sandwich," and all day I'm thinking about this pastrami sandwich. So I told my wife, "Come on, we're going to the deli." And then we had, that's what we had lunch there yesterday, but it's cool. Yeah, Pickles, Pickles Deli. Uh, Asked for the owner, Craig, and he's a big Stern fan. Huge. He's got a big, big, uh, like a billboard poster of Miss America when you go in. Yeah. So I feel right at home, of course. <laughs> you know, anybody with Stern, uh, talking Stern, got my attention. Yeah, so. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, I just can't think of the top of my head right now, you know. But, the, yeah, there, there's quite a few. I just know where to go, you know. The names don't resonate off the top of my head. Um, I can't read some of this stuff. Too. 
All right, guys, listen, I just want to do a little scope. Again, I'll just reiterate and wrap up a little bit. Uh, please don't ride any bikes on any of the state roads in all 50 states in the bike lanes. Stay out of the bike lanes. But listen to me when I tell you. Find bike trails, high school tracks, and ride around till you pass out. Tell this to your kids. Make sure you, you, know, you enforce it. And, and you, as adults, do the same thing. You got to stay out of there because people, but since they got these, you know, we have these phones since what, 97, 98, we started getting cell phones coming into play. Everybody's on the phone and I'm telling you, it's very dangerous and people getting hit and killed and down here it's through the roof and they're scratching their heads. They don't know why I go, really? You don't know why I could fix the whole problem. I could fix the whole problem down here. I could tell you exactly what to do. But um, I, I thought New York was bad. New York is not bad. New York is good drivers. And it's not that people are bad drivers. The laws here are shitty. And it gives them, the people, the green light to do all these negative things on the road. That's what it is. There's no penalties. You follow what I'm saying? So, you know, find places like this. All, that's what I like about where I live. To have all these trails. And this puts put Winter Springs on the map as one of the top 97 places to live in the United States. That and a veto to raise your family. Because it's nice. You know, it's heavily policed, you know, which a lot of my fans are cops. And uh, it's great. And uh, very little crime of anything. A couple break-ins here and there, but otherwise it's quiet. And you get this here. Get it right on here. It's, it's so friggin' peaceful. See? There's a guy now jogging. Hey? So it's really cool. This is the jungles. Of Central Florida. This is where you don't go. You don't go down here because there's alligators and stuff. They got signs. Yeah, you think I'm bullshitting now? Come here. I'll show you. Hey, what's up, man? Look, it's Stern Fan right here. Oh my God, look at this. What's up, I'm man? doing a Pasco, man. How you yeah, doing? Yeah, how you doing, buddy? Good, good. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. So, you always on here? Yeah, yeah. I try and get my runs in. Cool, cool. Every chance I get. Awesome, awesome. I saw you were live, and you know, I don't live too far. Yeah, awesome, so man. Whenever I see Bubba on the bridge, <laughs> I go check him out, man. Yeah, that's cool, cool. Yeah, how's your day? So what's your name, man? Matt. Matt. I'm here with yeah. Matt. Yeah. Hey, guys. Here with Matt. Up, Matt Stern, Stern fans. fans. Stern fans. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Cool. Yeah, man. man. Good seeing you. So you listened to the show yesterday? Uh, no, man. No, not yesterday. I'm uh, a little bit behind. Yeah, you I work from home, so it's kind of hard, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. uh, would talk about my army days. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. And then we had uh, Howard on Kimball last night. Yeah, yeah. That I was saw big. Him. Yeah. I saw him on there, yeah. So hopefully you DVR'd it and yeah. watch that. But uh, yeah, so it's good being down. How long are you yeah. down here? Uh, I just moved here. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, in uh, July. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah. Yeah, awesome, man. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, me, it's going to be going on four years. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. When did you move down here full time? When? Yeah. Um, It was August of 2014. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Oh, it is. This yeah. is. I was just telling the fans, this is a great yeah. place. Yeah. And I told them, this is where you should ride your bike. It's quiet. You don't have yeah, to worry no, about the sure. streets. Everything like that. For sure. Yeah. For sure. But uh, good seeing you, man. Awesome, man. Nice to meet okay. you. Okay. Yep. Take care. Thanks, All right. Too, take, be good. All right. As you, like I said, there you are right there. There's stern fans right there. Come right up to me. And this is how it is. They come out of the woodwork. You know, all of a sudden you're walking, stern fans. <laughs> This is great. I love it here. This is, I'm in Bobo heaven here. You know, with, uh, this is my sanctuary away from all the bullshit. And uh, this is great. Now, come here. Let me show you something. I don't go down here too much because the cops don't really like you going down because, you know, you take your life in your hands. There's gators down here. They have signs all over the place. And uh, let me show you. I don't want to fall off this fucking cliff. All right, right there. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Scared the shit out of me. Wow. What the hell? I don't know what that was. Some noise up in the tree. All right. Let me just show you here. See the sign? It's a white sign there. I'm going to enhance it. There it is. See alligators? There it is. Warning. Hear that? I'm not lying to you. That's what I mean. So there's alligators all through here. And, uh, oh, this thing is going crazy. Let me go over here a little bit. Is it screen racing for some reason? Oh, slow down, Junior. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it was great interacting with the fan. He came out of nowhere. Where the fuck did he come from? He jumped from a fucking tree? Holy shit. It's like Tarzan or something. He just swung from a, uh, one of these limbs. 
and became a Stern fan. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I didn't see him all of a sudden. He, he appears out of nowhere. I think he lives over here, and he heard me do the scope, he said. And he came running to, to meet me. So that was nice. Mm-hmm. I love the fans, man. You guys rock. This makes my fucking day. It's not fucking gifts. I don't want any gifts. That right there, at that moment there, just connecting with another fan that made my day. That's what it's all about. But, so, anyway, um, I hope you got some valuable tips. Please use them on our highways. All right? No texting, please. No drinking and driving. You know, all the same rhetoric that we've been preaching for years. But it's really important to stay alive. And we need you, Stern fans. And uh, please, don't ride your bikes on the roads. Keep them off the trail, and you know, on the trails. You know, ride with your, your kids here. You can, they can have the hoverboards on here. You know, a lot of different things they use on here. Like I said, they have bike races. They have the three-wheel bike races on here. Or just clubs of these guys and ladies that these things cost like between three and $5,000. Maybe even more. They got lights on them and everything. They're really cool. The special order, and they sit back on the thing with pedals and all. Yeah, there's, sometimes there's 50 of them that go by. So, yeah, on the weekends, it's really big here because they have the, uh, you know, the bike races, marathons. They have special events here to raise money, you know. So it's really cool. Here, I'll just show you right now. Watch. Here's the guys coming now on the bikes. What's up? Okay. Hey. Okay. So they ride back and forth on the bikes. And, uh, yeah, so that's cool. So everybody's safe. You get home, you get from point A to point B safely. That's the whole idea, you know. And, you, you know, it's, uh, it's little things like this to keep you safe. You know, always wear a helmet and all that. And uh, always bring something to drink, you know, so you don't dehydrate. Me, I'm, I like my Snapple products. The diet snap has no sugar in it, zero carbs, zero sugars. You know, you got to be really mindful these days what you take in your body. I don't, I don't even drink soda. Once in a blue moon do I have soda. Soda's the devil. You know, I don't have that. It's all natural stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing buddy? Good, man. Another guy on a bike. Hey. Yeah, it's great. So on Saturday, it's kind of crowded. And, uh, but, I, you know, hopefully I can go by the bridge and, uh, you know, I sit there for sometimes an hour and I write out my questions or I'll go down by the water. You know, I'm, I, I'm in all over different various locations in Central Florida. That's it. All right, listen, I'm going to pick up the pace now. I just want to say this has been Bobo off the bridge because <laughs> that's where I was. And uh, have a great day, whatever you're doing. And remember, micromanage your time. And uh, chill out, and everybody needs it, and uh, all the all the best, man. Love you, Bobo out, and tune into Howard on Monday. We can talk about Kimmel. Thank you, Bobo out.